taxpayers' money could have been wasted this afternoon after opposition parties failed to turn up before the Legal Affairs Committee of Parliament to present their views on the much-awaited political parties and organizations' code of conduct. Lawmakers sat patiently, quenching their thirst with mineral water as representatives of FDC, DP and the Conservative Party gave the meeting a miss. As a committee, I'm really as surprised that these gentlemen and ladies have not found time to come and, you know, and give their views to this important legislation. The committee has a deadline of tomorrow to receive submissions from UPC, JEMA, PDP and the Federal Alliance. Those parties that give us their views before that time, we shall look at them. But th those that don't, we shall still continue uh, to do the job and present it. The Code of Conduct seeks to regulate the behavior of candidates during campaigns. However, it agreed with the Attorney General to delete a clause in the code that stops candidates from using colors of political parties if they are not flag bearers. That decision means that independent candidates can now use party colors. However, their ban on using party symbols remains. We have agreed by consensus that we leave out colors, but we maintain our prohibition on what? On symbols. It's not gone before for this season. Okay, because people have already chosen their symbols in combination with colors, so it will be very difficult to retract. These offenses under Article 28 of our Constitution are not going to be retrospective. You cannot be punished of an offense that did not exist at the time you committed the act. The use of colors by independent candidates has been a major bone of contention between official party candidates and independents. In the meantime, the cash-strapped electoral commission is in urgent need of 80 billion shillings to print the voters' register, organize youth elections and manage elections in the new districts. Well, the cost is uh, uh, humongous. 10 billion is required to print the voter register, 29 billion shillings to conduct youth elections and the rest to manage elections in the newly created districts. Yeah!